So my third method for making flat slabs is uh, one you can do without much tools at all. You need your hands and somewhere to throw it. So again, work on canvas. Uh, work on, don't work straight on the table because it'll want to stick. Uh, but I'm going to pick up this piece that I've somewhat flattened already. And I'm going to use, I'm, I'm not using my fingertips, I'm using the whole of my hand, kind of a pinch grip like this. I'm borrowing this method from Martha Grover, so you can watch Martha Grover do this video online and, and see how she does it if you'd like. Uh, but I'm going to pick up this slab and slam it down. And I'm just using sort of the gravity, the weight of the clay <coughs> to actually kind of thin it out. Um, now, this works a little bit better with uh, wetter clay. My clay is actually getting a little dry, so some of the cracking is normal. And then I've got maybe a little bit more cracking than I would get if it, was, um, if it had been uh, wetter clay. I'm going to also smooth the surface. Now, usually you're going to use a rib to smooth the surface because you have canvas texture, and we want to get rid of canvas texture. A smooth texture or an intentional applied texture, either of those shows me that you're thinking about surface. But when you leave that canvas texture, it shows that you were kind of, kind of being lazy, not, not bothering too much about what you were, what you were doing. The other thing that, the, uh, that the, using a rib on the surface does is it helps get rid of some cracks. So some of the surface cracks that I have here can be compressed. Remember, compressing the clay makes the clay stronger. So I can compress this clay and make it stronger. Those cracks not only visually disappear, but uh, the clay itself is a little bit more strengthened as I do this. Now, one other thing to keep in mind is that I won't be using all of this clay. I'm not going to try to get to here. I'm going to end up cutting off where my cracks are. So I'm going to cut off some of the clay all the way around before I get around to using it. All right, thanks.